<laughs> I don't have any poems written for Christmas, but I do have a really great story. And then a little poem, a haiku actually, that I wrote today. Um, my story concerns a Christmas Eve, probably the best Christmas Eve I've ever had as an adult. And it happened several years ago. My adult son came to visit, and we were considering what would be fun to do during the holiday. And we saw in the paper that there was going to be a live nativity at Cody's farm near Marengo, or in Marengo. And that would be fun. We've never been to a, a live nativity. And one of the churches was sponsoring the live nativity. So we arrived. It was a really cold winter evening. And Cody's barn is big. If anyone's ever been there, it's a big barn. And people were arriving in their cars. And we went inside. And the farmer had laid out bales of hay for everybody to sit on instead of a chair. So all the hay was, bales of hay were lined up in rows and we got a seat right in the front near the stage. Well, on the stage, there was a donkey and some sheep and a steer. And they were kind of being kept to one side and then they were brought out for the live nativity and. Mary and Joseph and the shepherds and the baby Jesus, all human beings, came out and took their places. Well, things began, and my son decided that he wanted to take a photograph. Now, the barn was dark, so when he took his camera to take the photograph, his flash went off, and he didn't think about what might happen when his flash went off, but that steer got so startled and charged off the stage toward the bales of hay. The donkey got all upset and was ready to follow suit. The sheep didn't know what the hell was going on. And Joseph grabbed the baby Jesus <laughs> And threw this real live baby, threw the baby to a family member in the audience. In the meantime, everybody in the audience was freaking out, including us, jumping up. Hay was filling the air with hay dust. And they, there were some farmers in the audience who knew what to do. So they managed to grab a hold of that steer and get it under control and get the other animals under control. But it was very exciting. And then the minister stood up and said, well, my goodness, we haven't had anything that interesting since Mary's hair caught on fire. <laughs> it was a dandy Christmas Eve. <laughs> Okay, now for my haiku. <clears throat> it's entitled, Winter Morning. Oranges in a glass bowl. Sun motes fill the room. The gray cat licks his paw in the square of morning sun. Petals drop scattered on the kitchen counter. Like the words she just read, from the book in her lap, lost in silence. Thank you.